about a year ago, we took you on the ice for a very special hockey league. These kids were just learning the game. Well, take a look at how they're skating now. They live with different disabilities, and when they first slid onto the ice, most needed chairs to skate oh. and some guidance for their slap shots. Linda Lawn's little boy was one of the better skaters, but had no interest in sticks or pucks. First of all, joy comes to mind, excitement comes to mind, disbelief comes to mind to think that my son, who has a disability, would be able to come this far. This far, before the first fight broke out during the Bruins Flyers game. The Pirates invaded the ice. Under the retired numbers of the greatest Bruins of all, they played their first game against their new arch rivals, the Bear Cubs. And to debut at the Boston Garden doesn't get much bigger than that in New England. Jerry Letourneau and a league of volunteers are behind the skaters who get close to one-on-one -on -one help at practice. For the parents, watching them get better is a thrill. Seeing them put it all together at the Garden defies adjectives. Phenomenal, just phenomenal. It's, it's, it's a, it's a life-changing moment for us, as well as for him, I hope, and it's a memory that will last forever. It's just gigantic. Again, especially when I think back to last year, when the kids were here pushing chairs on the first day, and now, you know, a year later to be out on the ice and playing a game. And seeing their skills glowing on the Jumbotron and their parents smiling, the way Bobby Orr's parents probably smiled back in the day. Um, and it just makes me want to do more for him, knowing that there is no limit. Just because they have a disability, there's no limit. The sky's the limit just as any other child. Who knows how good they'll get, although it really doesn't matter as long as they just keep playing. In Pawtucket, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.